Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, everyone. I am here today to show you how I'm making my homemade chicken soup. And today, um, I decided to do a chicken soup, even though I'm on my, I'm doing mostly liquids, but uh, like liquid soups. But of course, you know, my family, they're coming over, my son, and they love soup. So I decided to add some chicken to it. So what I did before I started the video was uh, I wanted to jump right into it as much as I could. And uh, so once the meat boiled, um, I, I have this huge pot here. And what you're seeing now is some of the, I let the meat boil and then I put the chicken over in a plate and I'm deboning it, taking it out the bone. And uh, that's what I'm doing now. So I'm taking it out the bone. It's still hot. I wanted to make sure that I done a video because so many people have been saying, Miss Child, you need to do a, another video with your cooking. And of course, it's quite dark in here. But I mean, it's, it's light on my end, but you know, I still, I'm still working on getting the, the light ring. Hopefully soon I'll get that. Hopefully I'll have it by Christmas, the ring light, so that I can have, you know, more, uh, better quality in my videos, but thank you guys for being understanding. So I'm just deboning them, and I, I've already started doing it as well. And I left a couple of pieces in the pot hole for my son. Y'all know how I love him, all of them. So just taking the bones off, taking the meat off the bone, and as soon as I get these bones in the trash, I'm going to show you all what I seasoned my broth with. Okay. I'm going to get these hands washed. So, I lightly seasoned my broth, and the reason I say I lightly seasoned because I will tell you that as I get to it. I used adobo complete along with badia complete. I love these two together, but like I said, it was a sprinkle in the broth, and what I used for my broth to boil it with was butter and um, water at first enough to cover the chicken because I didn't want a whole pot of water enough to cover the chicken and um, onion season onion powder uh, crushed red pepper again this is just what I use to season uh, the broth with garlic powder and just a little bit of accent because this has a lot of sodium and I only did a tap uh, probably didn't have to do that and then I'm going to be using some parsley flakes as well as other items um, to go in there and the reason like I said I only used uh, enough water to cover the pot I mean to cover the meat was because I'm gonna put some organic chicken broth in there as well so in another reason why you don't want to really season that pot up really good because if you're if you're taking the meat off the bone like I just did you're gonna want to put some more season on the meat so that you can get the flavor, let that soak inside of the meat. So that will become a great taste. So what I'm gonna do now, like these are very, very chunky pieces. So um, I can cut them up just a little and keep in mind, you don't have to really focus on making the meat really, it's, it's just, you know, really uh, cut up like that because once it starts boiling again, you know, they're gonna break up, break apart. Uh, I didn't, sh I don't want to shred it because I could have used my shredder and shredded it. I don't want to shred it. I just want to leave the meat chunky so that when I get re get ready to get my broth out, uh, it will, it will be, you know, they will, the meat will be thick enough for me to just get my broth out, um, my chicken broth out because I, I mainly want it for the broth. And, um, you know, if a little piece of meat come in my plate or whatever on my bowl, that's all fine and too. I'm not, I'm not going to just like, uh, not eat it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. So 
Um, I added some more season to this. Then I'm gonna add some saison. You can add this to the broth if you want to, or over the meat. It kind of gives it a color, a great season and a color. So I'm gonna do that. And then you just mix it in. And I have another pack that I'm gonna add, because it's just a small pack, to the broth after I put my broth in. And then we'll get down to the rest of the stuff that I'm gonna put in. I'm so glad I got around to this video because so many people have been wanting me to, and I'm gonna just pour this whole thing in there because the water really <laughs> evaporates when you're boiling. So it's pretty much low, so that's enough. And then I wanna make sure that it's plenty, plenty broth juices in here to cover the meat and all these veggies that's gonna go into it or else I'll be eating a lot of veggies. Oh, those are my flip-flops just flopping. <laughs> so I also have some organic veggie broth that I've been uh, using for myself, just by itself. And I have some left, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that in there. Not the whole thing. Well, I, actually I can pour more because I'm gonna be eating off this for a few days. So yeah, we'll do that. So that was a half a um, carton, and they bought the organic. So this is gonna give it that chicken vegetable taste because it has both in there. And then you just give it a nice stir. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my other saison or saison. Everybody says it different. I might not. I still might not be saying it right, but you see what it is. So I showed you everything that I put in there. And I'm going to go ahead and let that stir. I'm going to let that stir. I'm going to go ahead and stir it. <laughs> let that come to a nice boil. Everything is nicely rinsed off. And I'm going to go ahead and add... The rest of my ingredients, as you can see, that they're all laid out, washed and cleaned to perfection. And I know that this video is not showing, well, the way that my camera is set up, but I, I'm going to show you how tall this pot is. And it's from the old school, baby. See, this is from the old school. It, this how it rattle when it's cooking. <laughs> Got it from the garage sale for three dollars. So this is this is this an old school one. So what I have here is I have some carrots. Uh, give me one second. Let's try to. There we go. I have some carrots. some onions and I celery onions and celery and they smell so good this is what really really makes the soup taste good We have here bell peppers, onions, more onions, yes, and or, or oranges, orange and red peppers that's going to go in. Now, this is where the good good come in. I can't be dropping on. Yes, it's plenty of it. Now this is good for weight loss, I'm telling you. If weight loss or just, you know, just a nice meal. You can eat on this for two or three days. You know, I mean, I can actually 
You know, I just thought of something, guys. While I was sitting here about to tell you how good this would be just without the meat, I can actually take my broth out before I put the meat in if I really didn't want to do it like that, but I ain't going to do it. <laughs> but that's a good idea. We have portobello mushrooms that's going in here as well. Yum, yum, yum. Already nicely cleaned. Yes, I'm having a bad hair day. But who cares? <laughs> and this apron was gifted by my best friend, Felicia Sanders, a.k.a. Missy, a.k.a. my bestie. <laughs> yes, that was a gift a while back. And of course, we're going to add the spinach. And the spinach is going to draw up, you know, very small. So... Everything is washed to the perfection. Washed to perfection. So, we're going to let this get its boil on. This won't take long to tender up. We're going to let that get its boil on. Okay, guys? Also, um, one of the ingredients that I left out was the basil. And I was gonna use I was gonna use fresh basil, but um, I remembered that I still had some of this at home while I was in the store. So I put the fresh basil back. And at the end, I'm gonna be using fresh cilantro uh, to go in it. That makes a great taste. So I'm just gonna add the fresh basil. And uh, it's not too late because I just put the vegetables in anyways. So just get that really good taste from that basil it's really it brings out the flavor it brings out the flavor so it's it's cooking and uh, I'm gonna put the top on and let this cook down before I put that chicken in there and we'll we'll take it from there okay so everything is Nicely steamed, and you can see the steam coming out from this beautiful, beautiful old school pot. And I'm just gonna lift it up. I mean, this what this is old school. I mean, my great 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 grandma probably used one of these. So everything is looking good and tender. So I'm going to put that meat over in there. Have to taste my broth to make sure of what we're working in. Here's my tasting spoon. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that made me want to double back. Anybody ever had to double back? Okay, so we're just going to put the chicken over in it. And speaking of double back, I did double back uh, when the video was paused to break up some of the chicken pieces. Um, but not like a shred, you know, just made them a little bit smaller. And further stir... You want to get deep down to the bottom of the pot because it is a lot of seasoning sitting down there. Put that seasoning spoon in my pocket. I mean that tasting spoon. And if they want to add cheese, they could, it's up to them. I'm not gonna add any to the to the pot. I mean, you don't have to. It was just it's just a suggestion, you know. But you know, you got some cheese lovers out there. So as I said, I'm gonna stir very good to the bottom. Now some Texas toast would have went good with this, but do I have any? I don't know. I have to check.
And that answer is no. But I do have bread and I can make it myself. So bread, butter, and garlic. It's a wrap. <laughs> All right, so while I was on that pause break, I went ahead and added the cilantro to the top of the pot because I wanted to add that last as a tip from my African queen sister, Sheila. So I did and added that last. And... I'm going to make a bowl so you guys can, I'm sorry, so you guys can, well, your eyes too, so you guys can see how it came out. And I also wanted to let you know that feel free to add a can of cream of chicken for the thickness and the flavor. And I did not add any with this one because as I said at the beginning of the video um, this is for broth purposes for me so um, I didn't want it really thick so I'm going to actually be using it mainly for broth for me and um, I just didn't want to make one big pot of broth you know just for myself when I could you know do it this easy for the rest of the family so you can always add a, a can or however much you're making, you know, whatever you need to put in there. Um, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, whatever your choice is. Depends on what type of soup you're making. You could be making a beef soup. You can do a, a cream of beef or how, I think they have like a beef broth. You know, you can, you can do that. And the next one that I'm going to be making um, one day next week, uh, it's from Olive Garden. And I always forget the name of it, but the one with the Italian sausage, Tusk or something. But uh, I, I make that real good. And I believe I, I showed you guys where I made it when I was in Gainesville. Um, I was feeling good enough one day to get up and cook when I had to stay over, you know, at the other apartment in Gainesville after my transplant. And, you know, way after I had the transplant. Well, I made it then. Um, and it was, the pot was, the pot just really left because I had visitors there. So let's show you all how it came out. And yes, I have a Dallas Cowboy napkin. <laughs> so this is how it turned out. you were able to see it because uh the way this camera set up but yeah this is how it turned out and now that all the ingredients are there let's pull out my spoon again and i'm gonna cover this up and i'm gonna still let it simmer i haven't made the um homemade texas toast yet i want to make them fresh so when they come they'll be fresh and this is so good and see it's even better when you let it sit and simmer like tomorrow this is going to be way better just like how you make collard greens and whatever and the next day it's all good well this is delicious i need to start shipping these homemade soups out that's what I need to do. I need to get me a shipping soup line going. <laughs> but you know, I could, I would, I really would. All you got, all I got to do is make it and put it in on the um the dry ice, so it can be done. It can be done. So listen, when I tell y'all those 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 uh, onions and those celery and those peppers, and see, once that stuff just sit in there and simmer. You don't got to keep cooking it. You ain't got to keep cooking it, okay? Because just let it simmer. Simmer. 
And once it does that, it's all good. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to chow down. Thank you guys for coming and watching my channel. There's a million other things you guys could have been doing, but you chose to stop by my channel. You chose to look at me with this bad hair day, and you still watch the whole video, some of y'all. And I appreciate it. And I know that you guys are really hungry right now. And I wish I could just feed y'all through the internet. But as I always say, I love you guys. I love you guys. And you all have a great day. Miss Shaw.